is our enemy. I will not rest until the church is destroyed and every last priest is driven out of Mexico. I will not let you rest until you get up off your knees to a God that does not exist. church even more. And I want the American people to know that. You tell them. I'd also like to tell them why, General. Because of what they, together, have done to the poor. My family were peons, and they worked themselves to death for the rich. Oh, they threw us in double to us every now and then. But they gave gold to the church. Do you know why, gentlemen? To keep the people drugged with all their mumbo-jumbo. And afraid. Always afraid. Well, it is the end of all that. Today, a fresh wind is blowing through my country. No more rich, no more church. Is that clear, Mr. Wyler? Yes, General, quite clear. Why do you let your soldiers terrify the people the way they do? Terrify? We do not terrify. Oh, I do feel that we must frighten the people in a different way. A way to make them not afraid of the church. Listen to me, my friend. <laughs> Soon, my blessing will be more important to them than the priests. But, General... You think because I am a soldier, I like killing? But it has to be done. Do you think the rich would willingly give one tiny little bit of their gold to the poor? Hmm. Do you think the church would willingly loosen its grip on the people? No! Right now, in out-of-the-way places, they still train stupid men to be priests with the help of the rich. But my men will get around to them all. They have their orders, gentlemen. They have their orders. The mayor of a small town had a hole in his mayoral gown. He discovered the breach while making the speech. So he shut up and bowed and sat down. But he did it with dignity. Then now was the dictionary. Dignity. Where will we be without dignity? The lad was kissing the wife. Of the man who was quick with an eye. Said the latter, when we're true, we'll know what to do. I think I shall run for my life. But I'll do it, do it. Dignity, dignity, then no one is part of the dictionary. Dignity, dignity, where would we be without dignity? must remember our dignity, brother. Yes, Your Excellency. Why do you feel this way, Miguel? Father, the bishop is right. 
I'm a fool. I'm a clown. I gave you permission to play. Perhaps I made a mistake. Maybe I shouldn't be here. I'm afraid I don't. It's true. It is a dangerous time to be a priest. Oh, Father, I don't mean that. I mean, I'm afraid I am not right to be a priest. I'm too old to study. Don't learn easily. I don't have any dignity. I feel more at home among the miners where I come from. My hands, they are not the hands of a priest. You see the hands of a priest. Miguel, it is not a question of the hands. It's a matter of the heart. Soldiers, Miguel! Quick, warn the brothers. Go, quickly. You want you priest, you and your money. Go on, get it, and I won't kill you yet. I am not hurt. You must all go. I can't leave you like this. Go to your home and await word. Hurry, all of you. Go, Miguel. soldiers on the cart road this morning. You'd better take the back road to Concepcion. Thank you. I will. You have been so good to me. For a priest, nothing is too good. But I am not a priest yet. Now, one more favor to ask. Anything, Brother Miguel. Trade me your suit for mine. But yours is like new. Armando's is old. It's not even a suit. That's why I like it. To get home safe. How would I walk in such a fine suit? And they had to. Please? If you say so, Brother Miguel. Can you recognize me? Huh? Go in peace, Brother Miguel. And don't forget, you are not alone. Goodbye. And thank you very much again. was right. I'm not alone. Good morning, Armando.
What do you want? Your son. My son is away. Out of the country. I was told he just came back. No. You have made a mistake. Mama! Mama! It's me! Coco! Miguelito! Mama! A little wine of brandy and some for my muchacha. Yes? Who's there? My name is Luis Felchis. I have a private letter for someone in this house. Will you open, please? Put it under the door. You sure it's all right? Yes. What is it, Umberto? It's for you. Miguel, is it important? From the seminary, Mama. I'm supposed to meet somebody tomorrow morning in the plaza. Who? I'm not sure. Does that mean you will go away again? Don't go back, Miguel. It's too dangerous. Stay with us. How much I would love to, Anna. <sighs> then do it. The League is going to fight El General. Even Roberto is helping. We need you more than the church does right now. But I've already said I would be a priest. It's a time for soldiers, Miguel. I don't think I would make a good soldier. Umberto, leave him alone. You tell him what we learned yesterday. They know the names of every priest and seminary student in all Mexico. How long do you think it'll be before they're here looking for you? They have a special division of police whose only job is to find you. Umberto, that's enough. Do you know who's in charge of these special police? El General's pet bulldog, Marinos. Colonel Amadeo Marinos. And he's everywhere. He goes from town to town just to make sure his men never let up. Umberto, that's enough. All right, Mama, all right. But you know the danger he's in. Leave the church, Miguel. Stay here with us. Umberto, I already said I would be a priest. But you know in your heart you're not sure. So now is the time to stop. I wish it was simple as that. You know what? I thought of a wonderful plan to worry El General. Some sort of joke, I suppose. I tell you what. Thousands of color balloons with funny pictures of El General on them. All over the city. Big men like him don't like to be laughed at. Balloons. It's guns. Bombs Mexico needs now, not balloons. All you can think of is to make a joke. And all you want is to be a fat Monsignor feeding the pigeons in the plaza. Well, I always liked uh, pigeons. You care nothing about Mexico or freedom. I care so much about Mexico, but I don't want it done your way. Please, 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 my sons, let us have peace, at least in our own family. Anna, some more coffee, please. Umberto. Coco. Mama. Coco, come in a minute, my son. Yes, Mama. You still doubt you can be a priest? I'm afraid, Mama. Afraid? Oh, not of being shot. At least, I don't believe that I am afraid of that. Maybe when I have a bullet hole in me, I'll find out differently. 
Do not joke about it, Miguel. Mama, to be a priest is such a great thing. To celebrate Mass, to forgive sins, that is to stand in the place of God. Me, this is ridiculous. Do you think the good God doesn't know what he's doing? I am sure that he does. That's why he has given me all these doubts. You see, Mama, when the soldiers came to the novitiate, I thought, ah, God goes to all this trouble only to prevent Miguel Pro from even thinking that he should become a priest. Mexico is suffering now, my son. Maybe she needs a priest like you. Men full of joy, who can laugh and make others happy. God does not want only priests with long faces. But how many people will go to heaven only because I play the guitar and I sing foolish songs? You understand. It is for you to make this decision. Yes, Mama. I wouldn't dream of trying to interfere. No, Mama. I only ask you to consider. I do not push. Of course not, Mama. Now, go to bed and sleep. Yes, Mama. Let me say, Mama, if God made his will as clear as you make yours, I wouldn't have any problem. Good night, Miguel. Riots in Moralia. Eight reported dead. Newspaper. Riots in Moralia. Eight reported dead. Paper, senor. No, thanks. Miguel Pro, keep looking up at the cathedral and listen to me. Who are you? A friend. I sent the message to you last night with Louise Felter. Friday morning at 8 here. Buy a paper from me. Your ticket and tribal documents with instructions will be inside. You are to go to California to, to continue California? your studies. But I don't even know. But Father I'm not sure if I... Is counting on you. But I still don't I'll know. I'll be here Friday morning, 8 o'clock. Riots in Moralia. Riots in Moralia. Riots.
Those who profane the house of God, those who profane the house of God, Your Excellency. will suffer the wrath of the Almighty. They will be destroyed. They will be destroyed. They will be blown like chaff before the wind. I am the majesty of the church. No! Hey, you, stop! Let him go. He might be a priest. We got a bishop. That's good enough for one night. This is worth more than he is. I've seen him. I've seen him many times. With due respect to the dead, I don't think the bishop made life in Mexico easier. I know, Umberto, but try to understand me. I must go. God called. I am sure now. Paper, senor. Is this God coming here? Paper, senor. Yes, please. Good news, senor. Good news. Thank you. Papers, get your papers right here. Well? Well? Be careful, Umberto. Let Del General be careful. There is no God! There is no power! over us, except what we feel and what we think. I believe in the power of men. Let Mexico believe in that. Let Mexico believe in me. We'll see you now. Thank you. Mr. Weiler of the New York Press. How do you do, Mr. Weiler? How do you do? A pleasure. Oh, this is Colonel Marinos, head of my special police force. Well, 
It's been quite a few years. It's been a few years. Sit down, sit down. You know, I am very flattered that you would return to my country. Let me ask you, do you find it changed? Yes, quite changed. Then you have seen how I have kept my promises to my people. The church no longer has its yoke around our necks, and the people are free to think for themselves. Do I have your permission to move around in your country? My readers would be very much interested to know how your people have taken to this new life you have made for them. Of course, Mr. Wyland. You may go wherever you like and speak with whomever you please. Everyone in Mexico is free. I want your readers to know that. I also want them to know what a great thing we have accomplished here. For modern. Now, Mexico will be strong. I'd like to go into the smaller towns as well as the larger cities. Would that be all right? You are free to go wherever you like. Oh, you might find a few priests uh, hiding here and there like your cockroaches. But because the people deny them, they are no longer of any importance. That's exactly what I'd like to see for myself. Thank you for your kindness, General. A pleasure. Oh, uh, Mr. Wyler. Perhaps you would like Colonel Marinos to arrange for you to be taken around. No, thanks. I'd rather do this on my own. Marinos. What will he find? Nothing. Nothing. Everything is as you said. One drop of rain for a dusty summer Doesn't seem like a beginning But joined by a crowd They make up a cloud And showers fall sweet and free one grain of sand is tumbled and tossed by the ocean. But joined by his brothers and by some others, and soon they can hold back the sea. One little boy singing on. What do you want? I, I must have the wrong house. Uh, a family named Pro. This is the house, but they moved away. To Mexico City, I think. To Mexico City? Do you know where? I don't know. All I know is they were in trouble with the authorities. Then, when the mother died... What did you say? I said the mother died. The others left soon after. My mother? That's all I can tell you. I, please, I don't know any more. Miguel Pro. Yes? We were told you were coming back. I've been watching the house for days now. I'm Luis. Luis Velches. 
Who is Velches? You are a man now. And you are a priest now. Many people have been waiting for you, Miguel. My mother, Louise. First, I must go to my mother. Come with me, Miguel. Father. woman didn't warn us in time. We must get word to Mexico City right now. Alfredo. Are there any strangers here? Any police? No, Louis. Only friends. This is Miguel Pro, a priest. Oh, a priest. Jose, quick. Go get my wife and kids, then go get yours. My wife? But why? Go. This man is a priest. Father. Bronco, get your wife and bring all the others. Tell them to bring the children. Pull the sack down over the window. As, is, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from you. Amen. Benediction ami Deus, ami Patris et Filho, Espiritus Santos, Amen. Guadalupe Ego te baptiza en nomine Patris et Filii, with the Spirit of Santo Santo. And now our other son, Juan, Father. And after you baptize him, we want you to marry us. Of course. Uh, yes, I'll take care of everything. Filii, with the Spirit of Santo Santo. You are sure they will come? Positive. I had word from the League. They received my message. Why has it been so difficult to find them? Just to be distantly related to a priest these days is dangerous enough. But to be his brother and sister? Well, it's better not to be found by the police too easily. Is that why Umberto is in jail, huh? Father! They're coming now! Luis! It's them! Ana! Roberto! Oh, Miguel! Oh, Miguel. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> now tell me, why is Humbert in jail? Is he in danger? There's no real charge. They can't prove anything. The lawyer from the League is trying to get him out. But what did he do? Remember your idea about the balloons? That crazy joke? That I said would annoy el general? Yes, well, Humberto decided that it was a good trick. But how did they know he did it? Without meaning to do any harm, people talk, Miguel. Yes, I see. Have you been to Señor Altera in Concepcion since you've been here? We were afraid it might mean trouble for her. How terrible that my being a priest should bring danger to all who are close to me. But 
What about Umberto? I must go to see him. In jail? Don't be foolish. It's not safe, Miguel. Don't worry. They don't know me. Why are you doing that? I might need it to see Umberto. I have been around as a plain clothes priest. Now I'm going to be a plain clothes policeman. Has he had any visitors? Just his lawyer and his brother Roberto and sister. Try to keep him as long as you can. We have word that his brother, the priest, is back in Mexico City. The priest here? He is sure to try to get word here to his brother. Then we'll have him. El General will be pleased. You know, Dare, it may mean a promotion for both of us when we capture him. Thank you, Colonel. Regulations manual, sir. Splendid, splendid. That's the spirit we want to see. Regulations must become second nature. Study is the only way to achieve it. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, uh, prisoner uh, Umberto Pro. Umberto Pro? Yes. One sixteen. It's that way. Shall I show you there? No, you stick to your post. Thank you, sir. Carlos. Good day. Good day. One sixteen, prisoner uh, pro. But Sir, I... And let's keep the collar buttoned at all times. If it's too tight, move the button. It will relieve that. Yes, sir. Prisoner Pro, step over here. A few questions in reference to the balloon incident. Here, what? If you want to know what's inside them, catch one. What are you doing here? Thinking how I can get you out. But you can do nothing. Get out.
get out of here and fast. They know you're back. One of the officials here knows us from before, Carlos Lorea. There must be someone that I can contact. The League's lawyer is doing all he can. Leave well enough alone. Now get out of here! I'll find some way to get you out. I'll come back. No, it's too risky. I'll find a way. No! I'll come back tomorrow. I've had enough lies from you for today. Good day, Inspector. Good day, sir. Oh, Inspector, I'll see you out. That's not at all necessary, but uh, thank you anyway. But I insist, Inspector. Small enough courtesy. Please allow me. Start here and look out the window. May I see your credentials, Inspector? I am Carlos Larea, prison captain. You're very resourceful. I'm amazed that you would be so daring, Padre Pro. You were very foolish to come here. I was going to have to release your brother soon anyway. We don't have enough evidence to hold him much longer. But since you have come here, I'll release him much sooner than I have to, tomorrow morning, if you will do something for me. I? can do something for you. Will you say mass for my family at my house tonight? My wife would be so happy with that. And there will be others. I will be so honored that I cannot even tell you. Then, at 10 o'clock tonight, at this address. Good of you to see me out, Captain Larea. It has been a great pleasure to be here with you today. I hope to see you soon again. Thank you very much. Good day, good day. These are the photos. These are the last class of Miguel Pro's high school? Yes, Colonel. The names are on the back. Miguel Pro. Miguel Pro, priest. Yes, what is it? It concerns Larea and a man who was supposed to be an inspector questioning Umberto Pro, the prisoner. Umberto Pro. You see, sir, after they talked, uh, the next day, Umberto Pro was suddenly released. Is this the man who said he was an inspector? Which one, sir? The one in the middle. Well? Much younger, but I think that it's him. Think, I think... Think? Can't you be sure? Yes, yes, I'm sure. Good. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. And Eva Louise, I baptize you in the name. And the Holy Ghost. Amen. Father, there are soldiers on horseback. Mud pies? <laughs> 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 
Hey, you. Me, senor? We heard there is a priest somewhere in the hills. Have you seen one? I don't think so. What does a priest look like? Don't you know what a priest looks like? It's many years that we don't see one here. All right, stupid. Go back to the filthy mud. Gracias, senor. You're very kind. I was afraid for your father. Do you want to wash the mud off? Not now. Uh, perhaps they will come back. But something else is coming now. What are you doing now? Umberto, where did you get this beautiful, dusty old car? The league gave it to us to help in our work. But why are you covered with mud? I was only playing with the children. Goodbye. I will come back soon to see you again. Let's go now, quick. Maybe I can get some sleep while you drive. Miguel, a man asked me if you would say mass at a meeting Saturday night. He said 400 people would be there. I said 400 people cannot keep a secret and that you would not go. Now I can say I have asked you and you have not said yes. I hope you've got the address. You heard what I said. I heard. And the answer is yes. brought your band with you. Well, Saturday night is the night for dances. It will sound like a dance, no? It'll certainly not sound like holy mass. It's going to be the loudest mass ever said. <laughs> <laughs> How do you explain this? My brilliant all-knowing, all-seeing Amadeo Marinos, head of my special division. How do you explain this? How do you explain that one stupid little priest can defy me? That he can thumb his nose at me and hold a public mass without a single hint to my special police of what was going on? But, General... What did you say when I asked you what that report of Mr. Weiler would find? Huh? What did you say? So now I am made to look ridiculous in the eyes of everyone. Isn't that right, Marinos? No, General. Yes, General! I want this to end right now. I want this miserable little priest caught and shot and shoot anyone who helps him. See, General. And no one in your division is to rest, especially you, till this little bastard is caught. Is that clear? See, General. Le dije el madrugador al pájaro Ruiseñor, y el Ruiseñor agregó, quiero que me haga favor de ir a conocer mi esposa. <risa> Oh, 
This is for you, sister. I sold a few things. I didn't know you were a salesman as well, father. Oh, yes. You might even say a traveling salesman. <laughs> <laughs> sister, have you been all right? Yes, we are perfectly safe. They're not bothering us here at the orphanage. I found a good home for these two. Do you know what I think, sister? We should be more generous and give them three. Father, do you think that's right? Of course. After all, how much more trouble are three than two? If you only knew what you do for all of us, Father. It is like rain, your coming. Like rain in a dusty summer. This priest, you said you were chasing? Is this him? It's hard to say, Colonel. It could be. But he was running like a squirrel. You look at it. I can't say, Colonel. Get out. I want every place this priest ever lived checked. Everyone he ever knew questioned. Is that clear? Yes, Colonel. You remember Senora Altera? Of course. Have you heard from her? She sent this note. Wants you to come to see her. It sounds urgent. In Concepcion? Oh, it will be good to see her again. And maybe I can visit some of my friends. Don't be stupid, Miguel. Someone may recognize you. I can use one of my horse moustaches. Stop being such a clown. <laughs> Do you remember the official who let me get out of jail? Captain Larea. Now he's in jail. Because he freed you? Because he let you get away. Can't you see? It's not only ourselves we endanger, but all those who help us. Don't you realize, Miguel? All the people are not with us. There are many who are glad El General shoots priest. Whenever they see you, they run to the police. Only a few, Umberto, only a few. That's what you think. They offer their money, Miguel. Here, take my wine too. You have many more masses to say. I would like to see Senora Altera. You would like that, huh? And you would like the Senora to give you something, like a little bit of money, huh? All you beggars think she has so much gold. She can afford to keep on giving it away to the likes of you. Well, let me tell you. Nita, what's all the fussing down there? I can't do my sewing with that crackling going on. It's me, Senora. And who are you? You sent word that you wanted to see me. Miguel Pro. Shh. Nita, show him up. Quickly, quickly. Thank you. Senor? Oh, yes. 
Thank you. Miguel, my dear Miguel, you did come. Thank you. For you, Senora, any time. But pardon my appearance. I understand. Come on. Nita, some coffee, please. Come, I want to hear all about you, your travels, the family, everything. Sit here. Oh, don't mind my work. I've been trying to repair this old dress. These days, with this dreadful government, it's so hard to find anything decent. Your letter said that you had an urgent matter for me. Oh, yes. A friend from Spain sent me a beautiful medal. I want you to bless it. This is what you sent for me? In the old days, it was so simple to have someone come up from the cathedral. But nowadays, well, we've been... Why do you look at me like that? But, Senora, the lives of several friends were endangered to bring your message to me. Endangered? The penalty for harboring a priest is a severe one. Oh, then I've done a terrible thing, haven't I? I didn't realize it. Can you forgive a foolish old woman, Miguel? Good afternoon, Signora. It's very pleasant here. This your home? Why are you asking that? Oh, permit me to present myself. I am Colonel Amadeo Marinos. Go inside. Go! I paid my taxes. Why do you come to arrest me? Oh, no, Signora. I'm not here about taxes, nor to arrest you. But I would like to ask... Oh, oh but I don't know about any other oh, things. Oh, Signora, you are Margarita Falesco, and this is your home? Yes, but I wouldn't be too sure for how long. My mother lives in Tashko, and I may go and move in with her any minute if my husband brings one more bottle of tequila into the house. I came to ask you about a friend of yours, Miguel Pro. Miguel Pro? No. Miguel Tesara, I know. He was fired last week from the factory where my husband works. If you can call whatever it is he does work. In my opinion... I ask about Miguel Pro. He's a priest. A uh, priest? I thought it was illegal. It is illegal. Ah, so that's why you came here with those ruffians. <laughs> you think I'm a criminal and you came here to arrest me. So Do you know where right. he is? How should I know? It's obvious you don't have a husband like mine. All right, Signora. And if you happen to hear where he might be, let me know. There will be a little money in it for you. Money? Why would I want money? So that my husband can buy more tequila and get drunker and drunker every night? Is that what you want? Okay, okay, Signora. Good day. Uh -huh. Manuelo, go quickly behind the barn to the hacienda. If Father Pro is there, tell him the police are looking for him. That's good news about Roberto, and Anna must be a big girl now. Oh, she's beautiful. Senora Altera, where is she? At siesta. Get her immediately. But, but, oh no. Immediately, no, I, I can't. said. It's the police. What shall I do? Uh, try to delay them as long as possible. Doña Luisa, the police. All right, Nita, all right. Go in there and stay out of sight. How dare you? You frightened my maid. What are you doing here? Colonel Amadeo Morenos. Hmm. Behaving like mad dogs in the home of a respectable citizen. I'm reporting you to the mayor, you understand. Will you please turn Miguel Pro over to me? Pro? Miguel Pro. I know he's here. Have you taken leave of your senses? 
A priest is an enemy of the state, and we have information that he is in this house. Without my knowing it? How absurd. With your knowing it. So, you force me to search for him then. Mendes, look in that room. And you get the other one. Hurry up. This is ridiculous. He's not there, sir. All right, go check under the stairway. There's nothing, sir. Now will you leave my house? I must have my siesta. I'm very tired. Be upstairs, if you please. The upstairs, of course. It would be interesting to know how you get your information. Follow me. <laughs> Colonel Marinos, this is my sister Amelia. She's she's hard of hearing. Eh? Mainly, dear. This is Colonel Marinos. He's come all the way from the city to pay us a nice visit. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Signora. Well, Colonel. It's possible a mistake was made. But if you are deceiving me... Deceiving? You still think I may be hiding him somewhere, perhaps. This really is preposterous. Good day, Signora. Out of my wits. You fooled them completely. <laughs> oh, you are just marvelous. Nevertheless, you should be angry with me. I'm a frivolous old woman who thinks getting a medal blessed is important. Well, I've just been a frivolous old woman myself. <laughs> now, I'll try to come back and say mass for you and your neighbors. Oh, Father, would you? Of course. And now I must find my way back to Mexico City. Go. Oh? It's happened again. We are told where he is. We arrive only minutes later, and he has disappeared like a puff of smoke. But the man is here, in Mexico City somewhere. And I want every policeman to have a copy of this picture. And I want you to memorize that face until you know it as well as you know El General's. And look everywhere, every street, every cantina, Every shop, he must be caught. He must be caught. Senor? Yes, you, senor. <laughs> Umberto! <laughs> I hope this is my last shot for today. I thought you were the police again. Hello, Luis. Hello, Miguel. Have the police been after you? I told you not they to do... to visit senor Altera's sister. Melly. Melly? I didn't know she had a sister. Neither did she. <laughs> Miguel, maybe someday I'll understand you. We better keep moving. But what are we going to do about all of them? Senor Altera was so generous. 
Can they come too? All right. We'll put them in the back seat. Come, Louise, and help. Come on, come on. Where does your friend go? He's going to help an old man on the farm. Oh, you have an intelligent face, my friend. He's going to make a good farmer. Now that we got rid of all that stuff, what do you do now? What do we do, you mean? All right, what do we do? Perhaps we should move from this city. This one is not safe any longer to stay in. You could go back to California for a while. I'm not needed in California. What good will it do for you to get shot? A man must do what he believes. Thank you. Well, did you tell him? What, Louise? <laughs> Didn't Dumberto tell you my idea? Oh, you have an idea, Louise? Yeah, a damn good one. El General goes to the bullfight every Tuesday. So? I'm going to kill him. You are going to throw a bomb at him, perhaps. How did you know? Oh, you're not the only one with a splendid imagination. You like my idea? No. You know what I do every night. I pray for the general. It's crazy, it's a crazy idea. You're not really going to do that. I will do it. I have a plan. Please. Listen, please. No, I've listened enough. I didn't think you'd be afraid. Louise! Louise! You don't really think that he's going to do such a crazy thing, huh? No, of course not. He's just young. I used to be like him. Let's go. This priest sure looks like that guy. Please, I'm a priest. If you give me away, they will kill me. I'm sure it was that priest. It couldn't have been him. You know who she is, don't you? The police. No friends of mine. I think they've given up. You know what I am. A woman who saved my life. <laughs> I am a prostitute. Thanks. What saved your life, priest? A prostitute. I'm very grateful to you. Well, why don't you priest to me? Don't I make you uncomfortable? I take money from men who go to bed with me. Any time of the day or night. Any day. Any man. Hmm? Aren't you going to try and save me, priest? I needed you to save me today. Hypocrite! Aren't you going to try me? Please. I could use the money. At least you won't be wasting my morning. I'll please you, I promise. I'm 
I'm sure you must be all that you say. But thank you. No. If I had any money, I would give you some. Hypocrite. They've chased you all out of Mexico. No one wants you. But even you must want me. You just invited me into your bed. But not for free. Better go. It's time for one of my clients. It should be safe now. What is your name? Goodbye. And thank you. My name is Lauretto. You didn't say you'd pray for me. I'll pray for you, Loretto. If you will pray for me. I told him to pick us up here, not to be late. I don't like it in the city this way. Oh, my God, no. What is it, Umberto? El General must be on his way to the bullfights. What does it matter? If that young idiot uses our car to... No, it will risk on being that stupid. In our car? of yours. And you know Miguel Pro is a priest. And you use their car. Miguel Pro must have known. Tell us the truth, Luis. Miguel Pro plotted this, didn't he? No. No. But you talked it over. And he said you should be... I... I spoke to him. That's all we need. Miguel, please! I tell you, it's crazy to leave here. They're sure to trace the car to us. We must get out of Mexico City as soon as possible. It's dangerous here. Yes, Humberto, I know, but his grandmother is dying. I must go to her. Don't worry, I'll be back. No, not here. Go to Concepcion, to Senor Alteres. I'll send word to her. Now, son, come, quickly. Don't be any longer than necessary. Senor Alteres, Roberto and I will meet you there. Anna, 
Anna is safe where she stays now. Come. Nomine Patris, Filio, et Spiritus Santos. Amen. You saw him bring the priest to his grandmother's house? When you went there to get him, was his brother there too? Well, young man, you must try to remember everything you heard them say. You understand? Everything. Here, get out. Come, come. What did they say? I think... I think that they said... Concepcion. Senor Altera, did you hear them say that name? What do you want to do with them, General? Huh? Hold a quick investigation and shoot them. But there is some doubt. There's only the car and the brothers claim it was stolen. Look, I'm not interested in a long trial. Y you can prove that they were all involved in this assassination attempt, can't you? But there is a great popular feeling, General. You know, the reporter from the New York press is still here, and he may write about this in such a way that... I can't help that. But you know, General, the Argentine ambassador has intervened. And the ambassador from Peru has also expressed... All right, all right. Now that they're captured, they just don't seem that important anymore. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll let the young one go. I'll exile him. But the priest and his brother? No. The people won't like a summary execution. Well, do you think I like it? But I have all of Mexico to think about. Now that's all. Marinos. Si, General. What is he like, this, this priest? Just another priest? I want to talk to him. Bring him here. See, General. outside.
Down. Oh, may I offer you something? Thank you, no. My friend, why have you done this to me? You make a monster of me. Why do you force me to do things I do not like to do? You do not like shooting me? Well, no. If you had left Mexico like so many others, I would not have to shoot you. But my work was here, in my own country. Miguel, there is a right time for all things. This is not the time to be a priest in Mexico. To me, it was the most important time. General, do you really believe that you can wipe away a man's religious beliefs overnight? And why not? For too many years, the church had a stranglehold on our people. Ah, superstitions, fears. They used every weapon they could lay their hands on. And with these weapons, they held everyone in bondage. A bondage worse than, than slavery. You may be right. But let's be honest with each other. What kind of freedom are you offering them? Their own brains. A new generation will grow up educated. They will use their brains to think. They won't have some priest thinking for them. No, so you can think for them instead. A great pity. Don't waste your pity. Your kind is finished. The, the young want no part of you. Today, tomorrow, the future belongs to the young. Can't you see that? You have nothing to offer them. No, General. The only thing I can see, perhaps I was not the one to offer it to them. Miguel. Miguel, look, I really don't want to shoot you. Let's make a sensible deal. A deal? Yes. Give me your word that you'll give up being a priest and I'll let you go free. Could you give up being yourself? Then you're going to force me to shoot you, huh? I ask you only one great favor. Let my brothers go free. They are not priests. Your youngest brother is already free. The other? No. Please! No! You plotted too much against the state. Miguel, have you no fear of death? Not if the Lord feels my work here is done. The Lord, the Lord! I've lost my patience with you. Guard! You're a fool not to take my offer. Guard! Take him away! Miguel Pro. What a pity you went into the priesthood. You would have made a great general. With all due respect, General, maybe you would have made a great pope. It's time. You understand that through all this, I have only been doing my duty as an officer, subject to my superiors. I, too, am subject to a superior. But they tell me that you make jokes with the guards. Not very good ones. Besides, you will have the last laugh. I will not laugh. Oh, I'm sorry. Miguel. 
please. Father, I ask you to forgive me. I do. Do not be afraid, Umberto. I'm not afraid, Miguel. Thirty thousand. Isn't that what you said, Marinos? Thirty thousand mourners for a little priest. Well, it's all over now. He's dead. They will forget. Will they, General? Yeah. 